What's good, it's poppin' YouTube fam. We bet in our reaction video. We got my boy. Ooh, hold on, my head started itching. We got my boy Beezy. When Batman took Robin to the barbershop for a generational fade. The little Damon had to get had to get Damon right. He had to get little Dame right. Cause he was acting like he don't really know who Bats is. He don't, like, he don't really know who it is. He think he like that, but he not really like that. But y'all not here for me to talk about it. Y'all here to watch my boy talk about it. So what that means is, the easy channel gonna be linked down below along with the video that you gonna show us and love his up and all that good stuff. Damn, you know we gotta hit the lights. <laughs> Ain't no gotta make a full screen too, always. Always. Okay, so boom, we start off with my boy Robin. That nigga stole the Batmobile off risk. He say, Dad, I'm going on a mission. Come get your whip back. My boy Batman that hit up crazy. early. He say, don't you move another muscle until I get there. Send the coordinates and I'll be on the way, you bum ass. I shouldn't have done it in your mom. So my boy crazy. Robin pulls up to the spot and it's Scott's toy box. And he has a thought in his head like, hold the fuck on. Who the fuck shopping at Scott's Toy Box? You feel me? Ooh, we know Toys R Us went out of business, but I know these kids are not buying their goods from here. This gotta be some type of adult sex store or some shit. So, uh, I have to investigate this. He hop in the spot and he see all types of child uh slavery. These little niggas locked up and shit. He like, all right, yeah, I'm going to save you. But hey, little bro, you got to back up before I really, I'll boo you with her. You ugly and shit. Soon as Robin go to save my youngest, we got this freak ass bull and this Chucky mask, man. We need to lock him up for sure. Yeah, too damn ugly. fool to be evil, man. He could potentially be a problem. So listen, here's what happened, y'all. The Rugrats got a little older and they started accepting any role they could come across. So now they some backup minions in this movie. And Chucky and all the Rugrats start jumping the fuck out of Robin. I'm telling you, boy, them Rugrats moving different right here, they but not was. too different, because Robin really shaking the fuck out there. But look, bro, I'm telling you, this Tommy right here going crazy, but hey, who said, gave Tommy, Tommy Pickles this? What Tommy Pickles trying to snap out here? Robin say, well, hell no, nah, and head but my young and Tommy nah, Pickles. Nah, imagine getting the, This one back there say, all right, it's time it. to be clean. He swoop in. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, there he go. So now all the Rugrats trying to jump bats, and that's when Super Chucky try and make his escape. Well, you not going nowhere. Robin hawk his ass down. It is that dynamic boy Super Chucky. entry. <laughs> he yoke his ass up and say, ooh, I could really do it to your ass, but I ain't going to do it because my pops say don't kill or whatever, bro. Why ever he say that, I don't know. But. So Robin finna walk away peacefully, but somebody spoke. Going behind Chucky and hit his ass with a Chidori, man. Hey, who did that? Talent holding this man's heart in his palm. He say, listen, trust your instincts next time, young blood. Bro, listen, he know Robin malleable right now. He know Robin gonna crash out and do whatever, whatever he hit. Nice and word. then Talent flee the scene before Batman get there, and it looked like Robin did this whole thing. So Batman get tight. He like, hey, what the fuck I teach you about not killing, boy? What is you doing? The problem is Robin don't even try to refute it, though. He like, man, believe what you want, old ass. Like, I don't really follow yeah, you anyway. And this I'm... is the beginning of the turmoil for the whole whole rest of the movie so we fast forward and they get back to the crib and uh i'll just let y'all see how that go and who might this be uh hey my name damien i'm bruce I'm pet dog. protection for all the my pet dog over here he'd like to bark and shit sometimes it's my pet dog Ooh, <laughs> pet dog kind of is crazy Hey, Bruce, is this bitch retarded? What kind of dog is he? Uh, I'm pretty... He the, he the bitch kind. Yeah, hey, show her ring, a trick. Ring, ring, ring. Ooh, I gotta Crazy. go. Something came up again. Uh, hey, hey, bitch, you're not, you're not cheating on me again, is you? <laughs> Wouldn't do that, right? Of course not, Bruce. Just chill. She is. I'm out of here. All right, all right. Don't let me find nothing out. Hey, what the fuck did <laughs> I tell you about out. telling the hoes that you my son? So Batman's primary eater leaves the vicinity and that leaves time for Bruce and Damien to watch a movie. It looks like their relationship is starting to get mended a little bit. Some Damien way. get a little itch to go fight some crime some on way. his own so he sneak out the building. Damien out there thinking he's Sly Cooper and Batman say, hell no, nah, bring your stupid ass back inside. Yeah, like, what you Batman thought this like, was? Man, you, you trying to be a little problem child so now I gotta hire a babysitter while I leave. So who he bring in? <laughs> Boy, it's Big Dick. Grayson, yeah, that boy Nightwing, right? He too Big clean. What? The OG no, Robin in this thing. Oh, cool ass nigga, man. Nah, he's so cool. He, get bitches, bro. he can take my bitch. 
I'm just playing take my y'all making it gay, just chill. So boom, they start he scrapping and Mike Wynn taking Lil Bro to pound town a little bit. He say, Lil, what? you show me you worthy of that Robin title, boy. You to, and right now, you ain't showing me shit. Robin say, bet. Grab his ass by the wrist. Boom, his ass. Mike Wynn say, mm, get off me, Lenny. Yeah, boy, Night Wynn might be a part of Weave Nation. Oh, he? my God. Then he show a little bit of no, evasion and persuasion to this young nigga. So then Night Wynn like, bro, yo, Robin kind of sorry. You tarnishing my name a little bit. He start putting boots <laughs> on that nigga, bro. He started mm -hmm. moving like Cammy off Street Fighter. And oh, my God, bro. I just can't stop thinking about how fine Cammy really is, but that has nothing she to do with bad. the fight. Damien slipped that shit, hit him with a reversal. He start going at this nigga body. Oh, and Nightwing just start little broing this dude. Like, like, look at this shit, bro. This is just sad. Damien say, I'm not going for that. Get up off. Then he started giving my boy dick that dick, bro. He said, hey, now it's what? a little crazy. He gave me some body shots. And boom, put that boy in his seat. That's good scraps, y'all. Nah, Let's move is. on. So while Nightwing and Robin was scrapping, Batman was getting busy as well. But I'm going to let Country Beasy tell y'all that part. Okay, so he. Here we have Batman getting jumped by some niggas in some owl costumes. I don't right. know. They must have been at Party City getting busy, but yeah, they're right. in some owl costumes and they're jumping Batman. So Batman boxing up the first two and he makes quick work and then this nigga comes in with well, how you get those in his shoes? Imagine if I we, had those we, in my here boots, man. You know how overpowered I would be if I had those in my goddamn boots? Oh, your shit, horse nigga, back to the fight and he broke his arm over here, man. Oh my god. Bat's not playing fair over <laughs> here and then this one right Rise up with no mask on. We find out nigga is Voldemort. Oh Voldemort in here. So now Voldemort and the other Bro, owls ugly. are getting on his ass a little bit. They out here jumping. They doing WWE moves, man. They going crazy on my boy. Batman hit the ass with a Glock dookie and get the fuck up out of there, man. But one of the, the owls <laughs> catches ass and they body slam him into an antique T-Rex. Now this right here should have been GG no for Batman, but the plot armor saved his ass. Like how the villains just randomly start turning into walking diarrhea. I don't get it. All right, it's regular busy. I'm I'm back. So Walking Batman makes his escape and we good over there. So we fast forward in the story and Robin run into an alleyway and uh these niggas is way too goddamn freaked out in this alleyway. Robin gotta put a stop to that. No, he makes super do. light work of these gobbledygook ass villains. So Talon pop up gook. again randomly in the cut saying, bro, you need to finish the job this time and um why are you here, my nigga? Like, why is he here? Actually, bro, say, I'm not gonna why finish him you for you this time. But he didn't say no Diddy after that, so it sounded kind of fruity. They hear sirens in the background, so they know it's time to skedaddle. Talon say, hey, follow me, little bro. They get back to Talon's crib, and they have a little conversation. Okay, level with me here. Uh, what do you want from me? Are, are you on R. Kelly timing or what? I think we can do magnificent things together. Excuse me? me? Excuse me? Yes, me. Like fighting. Excuse like me? Fighting bad guys, right? There are lines that Batman doesn't cross and I am willing to cross them. Oh, yes. Like lines with <laughs> killing oh, villains, yes. right? Like, not clarify. Me and you are gonna have so much fun. So Talon basically say, hey, Batman don't let you kill, but I'm gonna let you rock out. He even gives Robin with one of his weapons and tells him to think it over. Damien get back to the crib and Bruce like, hey, where the fuck was your little ass at, LeBron? Damien get a little sassy. He say, nigga, I was out. <laughs> And what about it? So apparently Damien out. has a 73 IQ score because for some reason he left the weapon that Talon gave him on his hip, like for everybody to see, mm -hmm. nigga. Stupid that is so man. stupid. So Bruce Vaughn didn't say, hey, who weapon is this, nigga? Answer me. Damien get angry and resort to roasting this nigga line up. He say, bro, what the fuck? What the fuck is that here? We got the same bro? line. Bruce say, bro, lock in, nigga. We got the same line up. I don't know why you trying to join right now. So then Bruce say, hey, you sneak out and do this bullshit again. I'm going to ship your ass to Switzerland. <laughs> I don't know why he chose Swizzling, but that was funny. So yeah, now Bruce was, in the yeah. other room having a one-to-one -one with Dick. Pause. pause. He's saying, oh my God, man. It's I just want for the this pause, little though. nigga to be safe, bro. Dick, he's just not you. But little do he know Robin overhears this shit. So yeah, safe to say Bruce and Damien's relationship is definitely in the gutter. So Bruce sure. making an appearance with the Court of Owls and these niggas on some Illuminati shit. These is basically some 1% ass niggas and they trying to recruit Bruce Wayne because they know he got influence. They trying to run this town, no Jay-Z, Kanye, Rihanna. Bruce say, That's a bar. Take right, it over, man. Get me out of here. So we switch scenes and oh, Hey, this is that nigga Talon, but more importantly, nigga, this is Bruce's bitch, Samantha. Oh my gosh, she's for the team. And even Crazy. fucking more importantly than that, somehow, she's the grandmaster of the owls, bro. She runs shit behind the scenes. So we go forward a little bit and we see Talon on a mission. He's sneaking these fools' facilities. Oh my god, B-boy up fire on that man. Like, Switch cheese alert. 
like, nah, niggas with sticks right here. So they get to busting on that man. No diddy. Pause. And that's when Robin pop out the cut. Okay, what? Hey, bro, you switch teams? So these nine idiots with Glocks must be shooting blanks because they somehow get bodied. Yeah, bro, how do you get bodied with nine Because they got no bro. names, bro. So Come Robin on and Talon corner the leader, and Robin get angry, bro. He kicked that man where the jelly rolls reside. Then he sock him in the face, bro. I like that out of you, Damien. And we find out that this is a drug lord right here. Talon hand him the knife and say, hey, finish the job this time. I'm serious. Robin say, no, I don't think I would. Talon say, finish the job. But Robin didn't give in. He didn't do it. He just stomped on his head one time. I kind of fuck with that negativity. I'm not I do too. They both get on the CTE roof and Robin alert. having second thoughts about really teaming up with Talon for real. He like, hey man, this dude kind of low key a dickhead. Talon start giving his sob story and trying to relate to Robin. Talking about he used to be in his mentor shadow as well and all this and that. And then Batman pop up like, shut that shit the fuck up, nigga. Exactly. What the fuck could you my child. possibly be discussing right now? Talon say it's time to pick a side and then he flee the scene per usual. Batman say, hey, little Rob, he's clearly using you to get to me. Robin say, hey, man, you always trying to make it about you. It's Bat say, I don't got time for this right now. Get on my Robin say, hold on, hold on. 1v1, three dribbles to seven right now. Mm. Batman say, man, that's an easy skunk. I don't even want to indulge in that. And he try and fly off. Robin cut him off. Now we scrapping. My boy Robin trying to send everything in his arsenal. But it's like watching Rock Lee versus Gara before the weight drops. Man, he cannot damage this man. He hit him with a quick high-low combo. Then he try to come in with the overhead kick. It fails. He sent in body shots. He put bats on his ass. Then he throw a dookie bomb at him. They start fighting in the dookie puffs. Bat sent him in on his ass. The Bat sent a couple what? body blows to show this young man he could really do him in nah, at any moment if you wanted to. But look up. at the little combo Robin put together. He take out the back of the knee to knock his equilibrium off. Batman mm -hmm. off balance, so he hit his ass in the chest. Now that mm -hmm. leave his back wide open. So then he go for the head shot, but Batman defended. But Robin quick with a rebuttal. He hit him with a kangaroo kick to the dome ski. Robin get him on the ground, hit him with a rolling thunder to the gut. Batman like, fuck, man, I just had burritos earlier. That's finna hurt. They going back and forth, and Batman hit him with a eight trigrams one palm off the building Just robin falling to his death batman fly after him and catch him and cuff his ass midair robin say if you ever put these kinky sex dungeon cuffs on me again it's gonna be issues then they start fighting midair and falling through stages where they swear they have jbl him the and robin still putting beasts on this nigga like dr dre he rides up like he trying to send bro to a king von concert batman say hey do it if you cut like that you ain't cut like that he indeed was not cut like that and the funniest part of all this is batman get up and say hey let's go home <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, shut up. Robin get up and say, ain't no home, buddy, and he dip off. So in this next scene, Bruce is having a traumatic nightmare, essentially living the events of his past where his parents are killed. But in the nightmare, it's Damien as Batman doing the killing. He murdered this nigga Bruce's parents right in front of him. He murdered everybody in Gotham down there. He becomes a villain. And this shows Bruce that he's really creating a monster. And it also shows how much he really cares about Damien and doesn't want him to go down this bad path. So Bruce wake up like, Damien, <laughs> Damien, come back. I gotta find Damien. I love you. You my son. Dick and Alfred say, shut up, nigga. You can't even move right now. Be That's quiet. Exactly. Meanwhile, Damien over here finna get initiated with the gang. They say, hey, we require more than words, though, young buck. You gotta take that mask off to show your loyalty. After a little bit of convincing from Talon, he takes the mask off. But, hey, y'all remember when I said Samantha was the head honcho? Samantha say, oh, that's Bruce Wayne, jit, nigga. So that mean that Batman is Bruce Wayne. <laughs> so they lock Robin up and she say, hey, we could really do some damage to Batman right now if we kill his youngin. Samantha tells Talon to kill Robin, but as he's going in for the kill, he's reminded of his younger self. Now, there was a flashback earlier in the movie that showed that Robin and Talon had kind of similar upbringing. So they resonate with each other a little bit. Hey, Talon say, man, fuck what y'all talking about. Yo, Yo can get it. <laughs> started hoeing everybody. So then he gets to Samantha and say, hey, I'm really nothing like you niggas, man. He say, yeah, I'm not really fucking with y'all. No really can I still get the cheeks? Psych, I lied. That's a body. He said, you would have killed me if you got the chance. I had to knock you off first. So now that no Talon killed the Grandmaster, he now has control of the court. So he gathers a bunch of immortal owls. And he say, hey, let's go pay Bruce Wayne a visit real quick. The owls pull up and, oh my God, look at these two clean ass niggas, man. You know how fire it is seeing Dick go from mentee to partner? Now get out there mm -hmm. and show me some. So we let the fight commence. And there's like a million owls in this bitch fighting Bruce one on one on some typical car cartoon behavior bro it's 87,000 of y'all if y'all don't get the jumping like look like, at all these niggas some... in the background if one of y'all don't come hit this man from the back and i'm Pause. not saying no ditty to that 
fuck this nigga. Hey, the animators huh? dirty as hell That's for how crazy. they did this owl right here. This nigga got beats put on. So Batman and Nightwing are fighting, and we got Alfred struggling to close his incognito tabs in the background. All right, so we see Batman get him busy. But I think we need get to break busy. down this Nightwing sequence real quick. He start off with a quick get off me to the head. Mm -hmm. He comes back. He say, get the fuck off me this time. Mm -hmm. He side flip over to the next villain, and he shimmying while he beating these niggas mm -hmm. up. Handstand, spinning kick, front flip. Mm -hmm. Get the fuck <laughs> He was doing so good, man, but they catch him lacking and they yoink his stupid ass up. They were about to finish my boy off, but you know Batman keep a dookie bomb in the cut, so we saved the day. Bruce say, low-key, yo, little sorry ass can't keep up with me, and he put Nightwing and Tom out so we could really start boxing. So Talon pull up and say, fuck what y'all got going on. It's time for the main event. So Talon and the Owl send an engage eight, but that shit didn't go as planned, so Batman tried to dip out of there. While all this is going on, Robin finds a way to escape. A new challenger may be arriving soon. So Batman flees and gets to his Batcave where he calls an Among Us meeting with Nightwing and Alfred. But that don't last long. The owl say, fuck y'all lame ass niggas doing it here. So while Batman and Nightwing are trying to hold the owls oh off, Damien hit Alfred line and say, hey, them owls low-key star if you turn the air temperature down, man. They can't function in that cold weather now. So now we got the face off of the century. Weather, Nightwing burst talent. I just know this finna be a good fight. Nope. Moving on. So now Batman turned into goddamn My boat was Iron injured. Man. He sued up on him. And we got Alfred in the cut with a strap. Oh, that's a dangerous sight, bro. You can't mm -hmm. give a nigga with dementia a strap. So this duo going crazy, but this where the owls fucked up, bro. They done let Alfred get to the AC unit. He iced them boys out with no chance. So this time they pull up in the Batmobile and wreck that shit. <laughs> Batman like, man, who the fuck gave this nigga the keys? So they run to Agni Kai. They start off play fighting. They touching each other elbows and shit. Then the play fighting turned into aggressive play fighting. They start doing ballerina moves with it. So so that's when Batman get a good one in. He punches nah, in his the bone in it. The choreograph oh, is crazy. He got crazy. fuck you finger. Then he turned his boots into some 1930s soccer cleats and stabbed Batman in the back with him. It ain't looking too good for Bats. But that's when Robin pull up. Yo. So now they run the Yo. ones. And Talon send a Mike Blitz 3. He get in his guts. Then he give him a back shot. Pause. He niggas having sex. Talon go for the kill on Batman. And Robin say, hell no. Nah. He jump on his head and give him his first inklings of CTE. So Robin get on his ass and he say, checkmate, loser ass nigga. And y'all look, bro. He did this shit with Talon's own weapon. That's tough. Mm -hmm. Talon like, fuck, bro. You got me, bro. Fuck it, I'ma just kill myself. And he grabs Robin by the hand and kills himself, y'all. What the fuck? He knew he lost, so I guess he wanted to traumatize Robin for a lifetime. I would did the same. Is that clean? I, that's not clean. So yeah, after this I'll altercation is over, Robin starts tweaking out a little bit. He says everybody's in his head, Batman, Talon, and basically he doesn't know who he really is. And the movie ends off with Bruce and Damien making up. He say, bring it in, my nigga. Hey, that's real nigga shit right there. You gotta love that. Jolly good show. Now, if you made it to the end, make sure you like the video, show. man. Show love. And let me know in the comment section what else y'all want and I got you. We out. I'm wondering if I'm on my mind to eat you. A lot of CT happened in this video. A lot of pauses because it was freaky stuff being said. Then it was like hit that nigga from the back. He said, I'm not pausing it. Fuck that nigga. Paul, that's freaky. But now, nah, you know, my boy always coming through with a banger. So, which I know what y'all need to do. Y'all need to go down to the description. Because his channel, a laundry in the video, is going to be linked down below. <coughs> Make sure you go show him some love. Hit the sub button, all that good stuff. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. If I'm not going to be